Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. I'm your host Michael Tabor. So getting right into this, catching up on my podcasts. Uh, today I finished listening to Lenny Clark on Joe Rogan. Wasn't really crazy about that. I did a video recording on it earlier. He's, you know, he's a good guy. He's a good storyteller. It's just the drug stories are boring to me, you know, whatever. So um, I just finished now uh, an MMA uh, podcast on Joe Rogan with Havander Holyfield. I was really excited about that. And uh, I got to tell you, Evander Holyfield is a class act. What a beautiful human being. He looks great, too. So uh, I guess, what is he, almost 60? He's like 58 years old. I think he's doing an exhibition or something with Riddick Bow. I'm not really um, sure how that's going to pan out. But um Joe got into, you know, the Tyson fights the first time, which was incredible when, so Tyson, the only loss he had had before was Buster Douglas, that was a huge upset, and everyone thought that was a fluke, like Mike didn't take the fight seriously, blah, 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 then Mike with Desiree, whatever's her name, Desiree Washington, the rape thing, Mike goes to jail for three years, comes back still, and Mike comes back bigger and meaner than ever, and he's got a fucking tattoo, Mao say tongue on his arm, he looks like he's fucking even meaner, um, and then he, uh, you know, you have uh, <laughs> Evander Holyfield, I think he had a warm-up fight first, if I remember correctly, Mike, and then uh, Holyfield fucked him up, you know, uh, and the that was just incredible, I mean, I no one thought that Evander had a chance, especially because Evander was coming up from light heavyweight, right? Well, you know, Evander started at 170, it was a cruiserweight, whatever. Um, he says four, four weight class title shots, which is incredible. Title belts, nobody has that in the history of boxing, right? So, four. And so, he's basically a light heavyweight. Mike Tyson's is killer. Although Mike is not big, you always think of Mike the killer. Mike's short. Mike's only 5'11, you know, 213, 215, but just, you know, fucking the best ever one of the best ever so the first fight obviously vander wins second rematch and that's the infamous bite scene bit holyfield's ear off and actually in the podcast he still has he showed joe and what makes what's incredible about it's kind of cute the way evander was talking about evander's not you know he's not uh let me try to be nice here he doesn't speak the king's language he's a very simple man, okay? He, I don't know if it's from the punching. He may sound like he's punched drunk, but I don't know if he was ever really. I don't remember him speaking before his fighting. I don't know, but he basically speaks at a, uh, not to be mean here, a third rate level. He speaks at the level of our current president, uh, quite frankly. President Trump speaks at a third grade level too. But anyway, uh, but 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 at least Evander has an excuse. He's a fighter. Trump is just a moron. All right. So anyway, uh, to be serious here. So Evander was saying like, holy shit, I couldn't believe he bit my ear. And he was talking about how he jumped up in the air. If you go on YouTube and see the clip when Tyson bites his ear and he just jumped up in the air. It's like, whoa, he goes, it hurt so much. You have no idea how much it hurt. And then he did it again. It's like crazy and then what's weird is that Evander Holyfield says I forgave him when I got to the locker room it's like you've got to be kidding me and like his coaches and people around him he goes that fucking animal just fucking bit your ear off and then he goes on and tells a story about like a week later he sees Tyson again and they end up there in a hotel and he end up in the same in the same elevator just Tyson and Holyfield a week after the incident and then the other fair Elevator door opens, you see people, says, oh my God, there's Tyson and Holyfield. Like last week, Tyson bit his ear off, you know? And Evander's like, you know, I'm a Christian. I forgive everyone and I love Mike and they're really good friends. And actually, Evander did Mike Tyson's podcast like last month, you know? So um, Evander is just this class act, really awesome, amazing guy and he copes he always says like my mama my mama my mama taught me well my mama did this and it was funny they got into his house evander holyfield at the time bought in a house 
54,000 square feet. Try to imagine it. Wrap your brain. It was shaped like a, a belt. If you go on YouTube, you can see like a, an aerial view of his house. It's fucking crazy with the pool. 54,000 um, square feet and like 175 acres. And he took a bath on that. I think he said he paid $20 million for it. Looks like it's worth like $100 million. It's like crazed. And then he sold it um, for only $5 million. You know, so he sold it to a rapper. Or Rick, Rick Ross is his name? I don't know. Uh, but but Evander is just this loving, kind, good Christian soul. You know, I talk about Christianity. I'm very critical. But the people, many of the people are just, you know, this good, just when I say good Christian soul, just a really decent man, really good man. Okay. Uh, so check it out. It was a little over an hour, the podcast. And um, Joe's a huge fan. Joe's seen every single one of Holyfield's fights, even his amateur fights, right? Holyfield is part of that Olympic team right and um you know it was really fun you know so um all right good friends good books and a sleepy conscience peace love and understanding here on tabor talk from the catskills